So just a quick uh, video here. Uh, this is in the news. The Supreme Court has declined to hear the case for the uh, male-only military draft. Uh, this was a lawsuit about the draft being uh, discriminatory as it only includes men. And now the Supreme Court has decided to not hear the case, so the draft is going to remain male-only. Now, this story is interesting because it's one of the few instances of a men's rights activist organization getting into the mainstream media. Take a look. The Supreme Court on Monday declined to hear a constitutional challenge to the male-only registration requirements for the draft, filed by a group called the National Coalition for Men. That's the group that filed the lawsuit, the National Coalition for Men, a.k.a. NCFM. I'm actually part of that group, and it's one of the largest, if not the largest, men's rights organization in the United States getting mainstream media coverage. The court's order means that for now, even though the draft is not implemented, only men will still be required to register for the selective service. And that, of course, means in the event of a war with China, only men will be drafted. Now, there was this ruling um, recently, a federal judge, that the draft is unconstitutional, but of course the Supreme Court overrules that. So as of now, the draft is still male only in the event of a war. So again, this lawsuit is coming from the National Coalition for Men, um, one of the largest men's rights organizations in the U.S., which I'm a part of. But what's encouraging is how a men's rights group is getting some legitimate recognition from the media and even the ACLU. Take a look. That has changed, and this is about the article in the lawsuit and the law about uh, selective service and, and the draft. That has changed in the decades since. David Cole of the American Civil Liberties Union, ACLU, which represented the National Coalition for Men, has asked the Supreme Court to take up the case, even highlighting what it might have meant to the justice's late colleague, Ruth Bader Ginsburg. It was just kind of encouraging for me to see a men's rights group being taken seriously and even supported by the ACLU. Kind of shows that times are changing.